What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you're new here and I love to talk about all things Peloton cycling and fitness. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Sunday and today's video, I am reviewing another split, but it is a unofficial split and it's Rebecca Kennedy's four day unofficial split. Basically she released all of these classes on demand and then she made an Instagram post and said, I'm basically creating a four day split, dropping entirely available on demand, not under programs, not under collections. There'll be individual classes that all speak to each other so you can bookmark them, you can take them at your own pace, but they're meant to be a split. I designed and wrote this program with four days so you don't have to do five days a week. So this definitely caught my interest when it first came out. It came out like around the end of January, beginning of February because it did drop over like a week or two. And first off, I think four day splits is a really interesting idea because I feel like I do really like a three day split, but a five day split is very challenging for me to get five days of strength in. So I kind of like the idea of dabbling with a four day split and, you know, pushing myself a little up from three days, but not to the full extent of five days. So I like the idea of four days. I also think it's interesting that this isn't a program, which I also kind of like if you, you know, want to still do split training, but you don't have a week or you don't know if you'll get the classes done in a week, or if you just don't want to be stressed about it, I like that you can kind of take this at your own pace. I do think it's interesting that it's not under collections because collections don't have a time limit either. So it would be nice if it was under there, but I don't know if Peloton didn't want to confuse people by like starting to put splits under collections or what, but we have this unofficial split. We know what the classes are and I'm excited to try it. I really have been warming up to Rebecca Kennedy lately for strength. So I think it should be a good week. It is a Friday right now. I am going to try to complete this in a week, but Again, if something happens, I can just, you know, take some extra rest days, take some other days in between. It's totally fine, which is a big draw for me. Today's class is day one, class one, which is a 30 minute upper body strength class by Rebecca Kennedy, tagged intermediate from January 24th, 2024. And yeah, I'm very interested to see what this is like. I really like split training, so I think it should be a good one. So let's hit the mat and tackle the first day of this unofficial split. That class was absolutely amazing, but my arms are also spaghetti. It was so hard, but we had good recovery. And we just really, really pushed ourselves. I'm very, very hyped for the rest of the split. I think that Rebecca is really not playing any games here. Plus, I have always liked Rebecca's personality, but I just feel like she's so happy, bubbly in this class. Like, it's such a fun class to take while you're also pushing yourself so, so hard. So she starts off and she's like, grab medium and heavy weights. And the ranges, I think medium was maybe like 15 to 25 and heavy was 20 to 50. And I'm like, all right, she is not playing around. I am not grabbing 50 pound weights though. She did give some examples for the weight selection, which that's my favorite thing when instructors do because then I feel like I can grab the right weight. So for medium, she's like, think chest flies, think skull crushers. For heavies, think like bent over rows and shoulder presses. So I grabbed 15 and 20 and that was like definitely the right weight. I do not think I could push any harder. And we did a two minute body weight warm up, no complaints there. Then we got into the main sets. So for the first three sets, we just did 30 seconds of a move and then a minute off and you get a lot of recovery. And that's because the move itself is very hard. Everything was simple, but having the weight made it hard. So the first move we did was a wide grip overhead press and with our heavy weight. So I was doing 20 pounds. This was very, very hard for me. She said to aim for eight reps. Honestly, I tried to do as many reps as I could with the 20 pounds until I felt my ribs flaring a lot. And then I went down to 15. So realistically, I did usually five, sometimes four 20 pound reps. And then I did the rest to get up to eight with 15 pounds. 
And that's because I like wanted to push myself. We had the minute recovery, 15 pounds would have been a little too easy, but 20 pounds was really, really hard. And I could not do like eight good 20 pound reps, but it was a challenge and we got through it. We did that five times and she's basically like, this is the hardest thing that we're going to do. But honestly, I think everything was hard. Then after that, that was already like a big chunk of the class because 30 seconds with a minute, that was already seven and a half minutes of work. We went down and did a neutral grip chest press for 30 seconds, a minute off. Here we were aiming for 12 reps in the 30 seconds, which was definitely a stretch. And with our heavy weights, 20 pounds, which felt good to me, I think 25 would have been too hard. Like getting 12 in in 30 seconds, you have to go at a pretty fast pace, but it was manageable. Sometimes I would go over by like three to five seconds and I just went over because I'd rather get the reps in. And especially with a minute recovery, I felt like I was still getting really good recovery. So we did that four times. Then we stood back up and we did bent over rows where we were with heavy and also aiming for 12 in the 30 seconds. Again, you are moving at a pretty fast pace for these. And we did that four times as well. And yeah, like you definitely feel burnout even with the minute of recovery, that recovery really flew by. But then we ended with this complex and I like this complex, but man, this was definitely a burnout. So we had a minute to do these moves and it was five chest flies, five skull crushers, five crush presses, and then five tricep pushups. And we got 45 seconds of recovery and we did that five times. We were using our medium weight, so I did go down to 15, which was the right weight. But man oh man, was this one hard, I'm not gonna lie. For the last two, I just skipped the push-ups because I wasn't finishing in time. And I literally would like go in push-up position, like on my knees, I was not trying to do these off my knees. And my arms were just going to like collapse. Like my arms were very much spaghetti by the end of this, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was very simple, but that's like exactly what I want. I want very simple moves and then pushing really heavy with a good amount of recovery. And Rebecca just managed to hit all three of those while also being like super lighthearted, super fun, super happy. It was just a really good class. It really flew by, but it was super, super effective. Like I definitely feel like I got a really, really great arms workout today. She did reference the split in this. Like she's like, yeah, I'm going to come out with, you know, the next three days of classes as well, like keep an eye out for it. So she does acknowledge it in the class, which is good because I'm always worried that when you get a list of like random classes, they're not going to be the right classes, but this is the split. So I'm very happy how today turned out. I am simultaneously very excited and very worried for the rest of the split because I know it's going to be hard, but I know it'll be good. So two thumbs up to day one enjoyability i would give it like a 9.5 out of 10. it was really fun i just really like when i feel like i'm pushing myself but i'm not like so so burnt out that it's a bad time and i just feel like it was the perfect spot for me difficulty i would give like a 9 out of 10. it is nice that we get a lot of recovery but when you're working you're really really working and you're really pushing yourself so overall, really, really great class. I am excited for day two. It is now two days later. It's Sunday morning. I took a break from strength yesterday, but we're ready to get back on into this split. Class two today is a 30 minute glutes and leg strength class by Rebecca Kennedy from January 31st, 2024, tagged intermediate. And I'm very excited for this class. I expect it to be hard, but it looks like she's doing a deadlift in the cover photo. And I love deadlifts, so I have high hopes for this class. So let's go to the gym and knock out class two. Another great class. I definitely had very high expectations going in because I enjoyed day one so much. And I feel like that can be dangerous because if you have such high expectations, like even if the class is good, it'll just like meet expectations. But this one was really, really good. I really enjoyed it still. And yeah, it met expectations, but like expectations were very, very high. And I know for a fact that my butt is going to be sore tomorrow. I did stretch out afterwards, but we were really working it today. The name of the game today was hinge movements. 
so, so many, but that's probably some of my favorite movements to do. So I really, really enjoyed it. We started with a two minute warm up, body weight, that was good, you know, just warmed everything up, did some mobility movements. And then Rebecca said to grab a heavy set and then one medium weight. And for the heavy set, she's like, think, you know, goblet squats, think deadlifts. And then for the medium weight, she's like, think dumbbell swings, think one legged kickstand deadlifts. So I grabbed two 25s and 120. Honestly, I kind of wish I pushed even more and grabbed two 30s just because the first move was RDLs, which I absolutely love. We were doing eight in 30 seconds, which I also like because I feel like some split programs, you are supposed to do like 12 to 14 in 30 seconds. And then you're going super, super fast. Like I like the eight in 30 seconds because you can kind of take your time, get really good form, go a little bit slower. And we had 30 seconds on, 50 seconds recovery. And we did this set five times. I did 25 pounds. I kind of wish I pushed to 30. It wasn't like super, super easy with the 25. I just think with that much recovery, I could have pushed myself a little bit harder, but the rest of the class definitely made up for it. So I don't know, jury's still out, but next time I take this, I definitely think I would try 30 pounds and just see how it feels. After we did our five sets of deadlifts, we then did reverse lunges, and that was with both weights in hand. We had 40 seconds on, 50 seconds off. We were trying to get 12, so six on each side, and I used 25 pound dumbbells, which was a push for me. I typically do 20 pounds for reverse lunges, so I was feeling pretty proud of myself. Definitely was a lot harder than the deadlifts, but I felt pretty good coming out of the deadlift set, so I was like, I'm ready to push myself. And yeah, I mean, that was effective. It was a push. I needed the recovery, but it felt good. Then we went into dumbbell squats where we had 30 seconds on, 50 seconds off. I believe we were supposed to do 12 in these as well. And Rebecca was like, you can go up from your heavyweights because you are only holding one. I personally still use 25 and I thought that that was a good weight for me. 12 and 30 seconds is like, you know, moving at a pretty fast pace still. So I feel like it was not too easy. I would maybe try to push up to 30, but I feel like 25 still felt pretty good. I definitely didn't feel like this set was easy at all. Like I was taking advantage of the recovery. My heart rate was spiking when I was in the movement. So overall, good third move. And then we wrapped it up with six one minute complexes. We did three on each side. So it was 12 kickstand deadlifts, four dumbbell cleans, and then 12 dumbbell swings. And this was hard. We did go down to our medium weight, so I used a 20 pound dumbbell, which definitely was the right weight for me. 25 would have been hard, especially because you're like stacking all these moves and it is so hinge focused. I feel like none of the moves felt that hard, but I could just like feel the burn in my butt after one. So when we kept repeating it, I could definitely feel the work. We got 40 seconds of recovery in between each one and then the class was over. Overall, I really, really like the structure of this class. I like that we just do one move like again and again. And then I like the complexes at the end, you know, mixes it up a little bit, gets a couple more moves in and like gets a little more muscle endurance than the beginning moves. But overall, I just really like the way it's structured, really felt like I could go at it today and push weight really hard. Rebecca was in a good mood again. The vibes were good. Enjoyability, I would give this like a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, I really like hinge movements, so that really helped. And I also, it was structured really well. Like I knew I was going to like this class and I did like this class. So overall, just very good day for strength for me. Difficulty, I would give maybe like an 8.5 out of 10. It also could be because I like hinge movements, but I felt like this was a little bit easier for me than the upper body day because I think that, you know, I struggle with upper body more. And I also think that there were some instances where I could have tried to push weight even more with the recovery that we got. But at no point I was like, oh, I'm bored or like this is too easy. So definitely still an effective workout and really pushed myself. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed today's class. And I do agree it like pairs well with the first upper body class. It's structured very similarly. We're really pushing weight. And yeah, I'm happy with the first two days of the split and I'm excited to continue.
It is now two days later. Yesterday, my butt was pretty sore, I'm not gonna lie, but we got through it and I'm feeling a lot better today. I feel like that is a sign that, you know, we really went at it on Sunday. And I am excited to do the third class of the split today, which is a 30 minute upper body strength class by Rebecca Kennedy from February 14th, 2024, tagged intermediate. I'm interested to see what she does differently than the first class. And I know it's gonna be hard, but I know it'll be a good one. So let's hit the mat and knock out class three. This class was good, but not great. I think there's two reasons. The first reason is completely me, that these moves are just, you know, not my favorite moves. It was a mix of things, but you know, a lot of tricep work. We did have a push-up set, which I know I need to work on push-ups, but I absolutely hate. So I know we gotta do it, but it's not my favorite. And then I feel like since it's not my favorite, I'm also not good at it, but we pushed through. And then number two, there was a lot of like work on one side and then work on the other side. So it felt harder, even though we weren't like overworking the same muscles for a long time. For example, we would do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on another side. But then we would have like 40 to 50 seconds of recovery. So your work to recovery ratio was higher work than the previous classes. Although there wasn't burnout, but it did feel like more work and less recovery because at the end of the day, there was more work and less recovery. So we started off two minute warm up, no complaints there. You know, all of the warm ups are just kind of like mobility warm ups, which I have no problem with. Then we got into the main set and Rebecca told us to grab like all kinds of weights. Like she's like grab weights for lawnmower rows, grab weights for concentrated bicep curls, grab light weights because we have a complex at the end that is like lateral raises. So I grabbed 125 for the rows. 215s, which I believe I only used 115 for the curls, and then 210s because I was like, I don't think I can do 15 pound lateral raises in a complex, and spoiler alert, I was right. So I had quite a range of weights to work with, but we started off doing 20 seconds of lawnmower rows on one side, 20 seconds of lawnmower rows on the other side, and then 40 seconds of recovery, and she said to aim for eight on each side, this with my 25 pound was quite the push for me. I mean, I chose that weight in order for it to be a push. And yeah, I mean, we were really just getting into it. I don't have beef with rows, So this was not a like horrible set. And we did that four times. Then we went down and we got right on into the push up set. So we just did 30 seconds on it, 30 seconds off of push ups. She said to aim for 10 and to do as many as possible off the knees. I got around four to five push-ups off my knees each time, which honestly I'm pretty proud of because probably a month or two ago when I was getting back into strength, I basically couldn't do any off my knees. So it was nice to see some progress, but man, this set was hard. We did that four times as well. Then we went into concentrated curls and I haven't done a concentrated curl in a while. 15 pound dumbbells is usually what I do for curls and like that is a big push for me but 10 is way too easy and Rebecca kept piping up that you should be doing like a very heavy weight and I was like I don't think I can go up to 20 so let me try 15 and you know see how that feels and 15 was right for me it was definitely hard I believe for the 30 seconds we were supposed to be getting 12 in and I was getting closer to 9 and 10 like the concentrated curls make it so that you're really only using your biceps so they're harder than normal curls even though you're only doing like one at a time because you just focus on one side but yeah i don't know i was like confused if they should be easier or harder but i think that they are harder so the 15 pounds felt good but was definitely a hard push we only did that three times but with you know 30 seconds of work on each side and then a 45 second recovery we were still working hard. And then we went into a like mini complex or superset where we did skull crushers. And this was interesting because you just used one weight. And instead of like 
going like this, you wet on either side, which I don't know if I've done before, but I thought that was an interesting move. 30 seconds of skull crushes and then 30 seconds of lap pullovers. I believe we were supposed to be doing 12 for each of these. I got 12 for the skull crushers, but I cannot do lap pullovers that fast. Rebecca did comment a couple times in this class that basically if you're not hitting the reps, you should be going down weight and then hitting the reps like go faster. But for that where I'm like pretty close to the reps, I'd rather stay at the 15. I think 10 would have been way too easy for the lap pullovers. Usually when I do those in a class, I actually go up to 20. But in like the context of the superset, I was like, no, 15 is fine. And we did that three times. And then we went into the actual like main complex, I guess, or like the final complex where we did five reverse flies, five supinated rows, five lateral raises, and then five overhead extensions. I used 10 pounds for these because it would have been way too hard for 15 pounds, but I really wish I had a 12.5 pound dumbbell because I think that would have been perfect. 10 felt a little easy. And we did that four times with a 40 second recovery. Another thing that I wasn't a huge fan of this class was that we had like two superset slash complexes at the end versus one, which we had in the last two classes. Like this class just felt a little more chaotic with all the like switching sides and then, you know, having an extra complex, like it just didn't feel as focused as the other two classes. But I also think that my opinion is skewed so heavily because I just don't like a lot of these moves that we did, which is not Rebecca's fault. And I know I still need to work them out. So overall, enjoyability, I would give maybe like a seven out of 10. It was still a good class. I do think Rebecca's really knowledgeable. And one thing that I can appreciate is she is struggling right aside of you, which I enjoy. I like when the instructor gets really in to the class. So I really appreciate that. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know, I'm never going to give a push up set a 10 out of 10 of enjoyability. Maybe one day, but not today. And for difficulty, I would give like a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. I think I struggled on picking the right weights for some of the moves or like I just didn't have the correct weights for it. I would have liked having the 12.5 dumbbell for the last complex. And yeah, I just feel like I could have pushed myself on some of the other weights a little bit more. But I think that's also because some of these moves I haven't done in a while. So I just like didn't know what the correct weight was. But I think retaking it, I could probably, you know, hone in on better weights. So not my favorite today, but it was still a good class overall. And I'm nervous for the 45 minute full body class that's going to wrap up the split. It is now Thursday morning. It's two days later and I'm feeling good, feeling ready to wrap up the split with a 45 minute full body strength class by Rebecca Kennedy from February 9th, 2024, tagged intermediate. I don't typically like full body classes just because I feel like they're all over the place, but you know, I am willing to go into this with a positive attitude. She hasn't led me astray yet and I'm excited. It should be a good hard class. 45 minutes is definitely a push for me on strength. So let's hit the mat and knock out this final class in the split. That class was absolutely killer. It was definitely effective, but on the harder side. And I'm actually surprised, like, I wasn't having the most fun while I was doing it, but based on the structure of the class, I thought I like wouldn't like it, but I ended up liking it. Like it was a good class in hindsight. Just know that you're going to work really hard during it. So we started out, we had a seven minute body weight warm up, which was great. You know, we're going to do some hard work during the class. I like that. With the longer class, we had a little bit of a longer warm up. Rebecca said to grab light, medium and heavy weights. So I grabbed 15, 20, and 25 pounds, which I was quickly humbled that those were not the right weights for me, but we'll get there. So we started off and this was structured at the beginning very similarly to all the other classes. You know, we have one move that we're really focusing on and then have a lot of recovery. Our first moves were deadlifts, but the catch 
is that they were only like the bottom half of the deadlift. So basically you had very limited motion just up and down your shin. And in 30 seconds, we were supposed to be doing 12 to 15 reps. I did 15 reps with 25 pounds, but you definitely start to feel burnout in this, especially when you're stacking it. We did it four times and we had a 40 second recovery after each one. But 25 pound deadlifts is a push for me. When you only do it on the bottom half, you're really like targeting certain muscles and I could definitely feel the burn out of it. So, you know, I like deadlifts, so this was not bad, but it set the tone. We were definitely gonna work today. Rebecca kind of said the deadlifts were different than what we did afterwards, which was six straight sets, but it was very similar. I like don't really know what she considers the difference to be, but we did each move three times and we did three upper body, three lower body alternating, which was nice because you were really feeling the burn in this class. So, you know, you got some recovery, like when you switched to the other part of the body. But we started off and we did neutral chest presses and Rebecca said to grab medium weight. So I grabbed my 20 pounds, but then she's like, oh, we're gonna be alternating and essentially you should be doing this move very, very quickly. So in the 45 seconds, she wanted us to do 40, like 20 on each side and essentially just constantly be going like this. This was a common reoccurrence in this class where we were supposed to be doing a lower weight, but just like way more reps, which I usually don't like, but I liked it in this context because we still got a decent amount of recovery and I definitely had to go down weights a lot, but I could really feel the burn. It definitely worked my muscle endurance. So I started off with 20 pounds, realized that was not the right weight at all. Then I went down to 15 pounds and honestly, I probably could have gone down to 10 pounds for these chest presses. I was not hitting the 40 reps that we were supposed to be doing in this time, but it still felt good. It still felt like a push and like obviously I just did as many as I possibly could. And then it took my 30 seconds rest after each time we did it. Then we went to split squats and I stuck with my 15 pounds. She said to use medium weights and yeah, basically after the first set, everything shifted so 10 pounds was my light 15 was medium and then 25 was heavy which we never went back to the split squats were also like not a full split squat like you didn't completely straighten out so very quick very targeted we were supposed to do 15 to 20 on each side i did 15 that was still a push for me with 15 pounds one minute on and then a 45 second rest did that three times then we did a seated overhead press and here she was like, you can either use your medium weights and do 20 reps or use your lighter weights and do 40 reps. And she only mentioned that once, but I really grabbed onto that. And I'm like, I'm going to do my medium weights, 15 pounds with 20 reps. This was still hard. I mean, the 10 pounds for 40 reps would also have been really, really hard just because you have to go a lot faster. We got 45 seconds on for this and 30 seconds off. Then we did sumo squats, which I stayed at my 15 pounds, and I believe we're supposed to do 20 of these in 45 seconds, which is actually like not that many in the grand scheme of things, considering some of the other moves, you know, she wanted us to do like 40 in a minute, but this was still like a pretty fast pace for squats. This move was just okay for me. I think that going up to 20 would have been too hard, but 15 like felt a little bit easy and we had a 30 second rest in between those repeats. Then we did bicep curls. I went down to 10 pounds and did 40 reps in 45 seconds. This was so hard. I could feel the burn so much and I could like literally see my bicep grow. Like I could see the pump I was feeling, which is crazy. I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. And yeah, that was definitely one of the hardest moves And I'm like, I am so humbled right now that 10 pound dumbbell curls are killing me. But yeah, they were very, very hard. And we got a 30 second rest. And then our last straight move was a curtsy lunge where we were supposed to do 20 in a minute with our medium weight. So I was using 15 pounds. And essentially she wanted us to do one and a half where you went behind and then you kind of bounced up and down. I did that for the first set and then I kind of gave up and just did normal curtsy lunges for the next two sets. Definitely something I can work on if I repeat, but I was so tired and it was basically like I could do maybe 10 one and a half curtsy lunges or I could do 20 regular curtsy lunges. 
And I don't know what's better at that point, but I just did the 20 curtsy lunges and called it a day. It was definitely still a hard workout. And then we had a four minute AMRAP at the end, which I am just not an AMRAP girly. I would prefer this to not be in there. Honestly, with the last four minutes, I would have preferred like just straight core work considering we didn't do a lot of core. Obviously a lot of these moves involve core, but I, you know, need a little bit of core in a split. We did do a little bit in the warm up, but yeah. So we went into the Sam wrap instead where we did three human makers and a human maker is a renegade row on each side, then a push up, then you like jump forward, do a dumbbell clean. So you're like in a squat position, then do the squat and then come back down. That move just does nothing for me. It's almost like a burpee, like burpee vibes. But yeah, I just, you know, would rather do like a complex where we're doing like a very specific move. Like this just feels like a lot of things stacked together. So we did three of those, then three jump squats. You know how I feel about jump squats. I'm not a fan. And then six sit-ups, which yeah, the sit-ups were fine. But yeah, I just did this very slowly. Like at this point, I was really tired. I was doing it with 15 pound weights, which Rebecca said to use your medium weights. And at the end, she's like, oh yeah, like make a note if you did this like four or five, six times that you can try to beat it in the future. I did it two times. I definitely could have gone faster, but I feel like at that point, like I just, I was not, I was very tired, but you know, we did it for the whole four minutes. I just did it slowly. So I'm not like upset about that. I also do think that classes like these, a lot of it depends on my attitude because I could see myself not liking this class in other situations because I don't like AMRAPs and I'm usually not a fan of like lower weight, higher number of movements, but I feel like this class does it well. I can forgive the AMRAP and then I think the other parts because you still get a good amount of recovery. Like I do see value in doing like muscle endurance type of workouts and I would consider this to be muscle endurance. So overall, it was good. Difficulty, like a 9.5. This was very, very hard. I think this was the hardest one in the class. Enjoyability, I would say maybe like an 8.5 out of 10. I did enjoy it. Rebecca was in a great mood. It was a fun class. The music was good. It's just like Endurance muscle training is harder for me, so I just feel like I like it a little bit less, but it is something that I need to work on. Overall though, I give this split like a nine out of 10. I honestly think it might be my favorite split on Peloton right now. Definitely need to go back and take the Andy Spear three day split because that one was the one that was currently raining, but I really like this. I like the four day format. I also like that this isn't in a program. So I did complete it in a week, but I like, wasn't sure if I was going to, and it's just not stressful. If I like, you know, if I woke up today and didn't feel well, I could do it tomorrow and it would be fine. I wouldn't like lose out the gold badge in the program. I know that doesn't mean much, but you know, I do like the badges. I do like if I commit something to finish it. So I like that this one is like lower commitment. And I do like the structure of the classes. I feel like Rebecca really brought a new meaning to lift heavy, recover hard. And yeah, I just think it was enjoyable. The four days is a nice push. And overall, like none of the classes were bad. My favorite class was definitely the glutes and legs class. That one made me the most sore. I really feel like that one worked out my butt and I just really like the moves in it, but I like hinge moves. So that's like a big part of why I like that workout. Difficulty, I would also give like a nine out of 10. I mean, Rebecca's really gonna make you work, keep you on your toes. I don't feel like at any point you like fall into a rut you're always doing something hard in this class. Definitely let me know if you've taken this, what you think, I would be curious. I do see a ton of people take the class with me and like these classes are a little bit old, so I am surprised. I think that people do really like this split, which makes sense. I am curious to know like the background of like why they won't put this in a collection or why this isn't a program. And it's just like strength classes that you construct yourself, but Rebecca like acknowledges that it is a split and it was planned as a split. And let me know if you've taken anything else that's come out on Peloton recently. I have been eyeing up the density training by Andy Spear. I think that's gonna be my next strength program, but I could be convinced into something else. That is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying safe, having an awesome week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.